reason is because the New Testament repeatedly teaches that people must live in the anticipation of Christ's imminent return because that will motivate them to live a holy life. You know, just about every time that the Bible refers to Jesus coming back again, it adds an exhortation to, in light of that, here's how you should live. For example, in 1 John 3, 2 and 3, the Bible says that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And then it goes on to say, and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. If you're looking for Christ's return, that's going to motivate you to purify your life. 2 Peter 3.14 says, Seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Since you're looking for the return of Christ, be diligent to be found when he returns without spot and blameless. 1 Thessalonians 5, after talking about the day of the Lord, he says in verse 6, Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Since the day of the Lord is coming, let's watch, let's be sober. And in verse 8, he says, let us put on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. So in light of the fact that he is returning, here's how we should live. And just, you know, the moment of your death, when's that going to come? You don't know. Uh, could it happen today? Could it happen years from now? Okay. But realizing that it is imminent and it's unpredictable should be a motivation for you to watch your step, to live right. Because, hey, this could be your last moment. And in the exact same way, to live knowing that, well, I might not die, uh, the rapture may come. That also should keep us on our toes just as much as the reality of the potential of dying this very moment. When I was a young man, when I was in my teens, and I thought about, you know, uh, facing the Lord someday, I wasn't so worried about it because I said, hey, I know I could die tomorrow. I get that. But realistically, what are the odds? I figured I'm going to live for decades, man. I've got plenty of time to get right with God and so on and so on. But when I thought about all the, the, that I had been hearing about the Lord returning to this world, Armageddon, the Antichrist, the Christians are going to be raptured out of here, and you that are left behind, man, you're going to go through this terrible nightmare. I wasn't so sure that I had decades left for that. That gave me a certain sense of urgency about this whole thing. And it worked on me. And I don't doubt that it was one factor that led to my salvation when I was 18 years old. But the imminence of Christ's return is, makes it urgent for us to live right. It says in Titus 2, verses 12 and 13, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Why? Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our Lord and the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. The coming of Christ urges us to live right. 